Good morning year one and welcome to day three of our maths lessons. So today you're going to use cubes, counters, counting beads, number squares, rulers, or whatever you use for counting on and back for an arithmetic starter. And then you're going to need a whiteboard or a piece of paper to write down the answers to the starter. And if you want the main part of the lesson, but the main part of the lesson is going to be an online resource today. OK, so today we've got a bit of extended multi-step addition and subtraction. So you may want to use arrays, you may want to use dots, you may want to use cubes to solve this. It's up to you how you go about it. So when you're ready, have a go at these problems. And don't worry too much about the challenge column because the challenge column is just that. OK, so when you're ready, I'll go through the answers. OK, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. If you wanted to, you could dot it. 2, 4, 6, 8. I would, with this next one, use the number squares. So we start at 10, 20, 30. Then 10, 20, and add 3 to 20 is 23. 30 minus 1, you could do that on a ruler. Count back 1, 29. You could do it on the number square. Then 23 minus 10 is 13. Minus 10 is 3. Again, number square would be great for that. And this last one, what we're saying is 5 plus 3 equals something plus 5. Well, we've got the 5s are the same, so we actually are saying 3 plus 5. Or you could work out that that's 8, and what do you need to add to 5 to get to 8? 3. It's quite tricky, those ones, so don't worry if you didn't get them. Okay, the next one, exactly the same. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And this one counting on in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. This one is 10, 20, 30, and add 3. Again, probably easiest way is on the number square. 40 minus 1, definitely on the number square. Count back 1 is 39. And then again on the number square, starting at 27. Count back 10 is 17. Count back another 10 is 7. And this one, if you've got the first one, it's the balancing. They should mirror. This one now is 12. This next one is 50. I'm going to write it underneath because I haven't really left you enough space. The next one, 10, 20, 30, 40, plus 3, 43. 50, look at 50 on the number square, count that one, it's 49. Counting back, 10 to 27, another 10 back is 17. This one is mirroring. And now 18 plus 3 equals 3 plus 18. Same rule as down here each time. 120 minus 1. Well, that's actually very tricky. You'd have to know that you count back from 20 to 19 and then add 100. Counting on 20, so we're doing two jumps on your number squares this time. So that's 20, 40, 60, 3. 60 minus 11. Count back 10 to 50. Count back 1 to 49. So let's see why these are a real challenge now. 57, count back 10 is 47, count back another 10 is 37, count back another 10 is 27. And this one is really hard. What you've got to understand is because the 12, because the 7 is 1 less than 8, we know that that equals 11. So what we're saying is, what do we add to 7 to get to 11 and it's 4. A few of you might have noticed that because 8 is 1 more than 7 we need to increase that number by 1 as well. So don't worry like I said from now on in the challenge is just a real challenge for those people who are really finding the maths enjoyable. Okay so today you will find that we've got a game on the maths page and what we're doing is we're having a go at this mostly posty because it's the best way for your child to get the hang of me measuring weights in class we'll be doing something slightly different but at home you will not have access to loads of different 10 gram weights and 50 gram weights and 100 gram weights so this is the best way to do it and we'll have a go into class as well so we're going to start with this one which is measuring to the nearest half kilo and you can see there's a half down here and what we're doing is we're reading the scale we're going to be doing more of this tomorrow so going around the scale naught one two three so how many kilograms does this parcel weigh it's going to weigh three 
check. Okay, the next one we're going to do, press the arrow to do the next one. And this one must be something really light, only weighs one kilo. Can you check? I'm going to do one more. So I want to get to one with a half. So, tell your grown up how much that is. That's right, it's two. Check. As you can tell, these are random, so hopefully, eventually, we'll get our half. Here we are, right. So, have a think about what that is. So it's one, it's two, and it's halfway between two and three, so we need to put a two and a half and check. Okay, so that is the simplest one of these. If we go back to the menu, you can have a look at the other options. Of the remaining options, this one's okay for us. This one's pretty good if you're confident counting in the hundreds. This one is harder because you've got to work out what these lines and they get progressively harder down to here. Realistically, most of year one will be fine up to here. Some will be all right to here and a few might be able to do these last two. But it really depends on how confident you are with numbers above 100, which really is year two. So that's all I want you to do today. Good luck, enjoy yourselves, and we'll have another maths lesson ready for you tomorrow.